Hey people, another vlog for the week, like I've been doing for a while now. Um, I was wondering if anyone knew any good cures for dandruff. I think I'm going to get some head and shoulders. I forget if that works or not for me. Just been having it for a while and I'm sick of it. Usually it only comes around the winter, but uh, it's stuck around pretty far this time. So yeah. I don't know if it helps if you have like a continual shampoo or whatever, but... I'll look into that, but if anyone has any home remedies, I think I've tried lemon juice, which it worked for the time being, but then it stopped the next day working, so I don't know if you have to apply it every day, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of useless if you have to apply it every day, but yeah, yeah, barely see it, see that little, eh, right there, got that by, with cardboard, cardboard cut me. That's crazy. When does cardboard become a deadly weapon of mass destruction like that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, also, if you look around my page on my playlist, I added a game collection playlist, so you can just click that and watch my game collections or whatever. My updates are in there, too. I got more of those coming. Um, so, yeah. Good times ahead. Uh, I found this. Uh, when I was unpacking an old box, and it was a smud from Nickelodeon. They wanted to get into that Play-Doh market, cut into them. First they got like, oh man, it's slimy. Ooh. Making noises too. God. They wanted to get into that Play-Doh market. So first they came out with gag, which smelled like fish. and was kind of like a poor man's silly putty. Then they came out with smud and there was another one that was kind of like they made crinkling noises that was kind of like styrofoam I think it was called foam or spoam or something but it, they never really captured that market to me they always tried and I bought that because you know, I saw it on Nickelodeon so I had to try it but they just it's like oil based instead of more flour based like play-doh is and it just it's all slimy and stuff and no one wants that who wants that? It's just, it's crazy. For shame, Nickelodeon. Why can't you learn? When will you ever learn? Hmm. Hmm. And a bit of bad news for the week. I, I learned. I, I saw a news story talking about how Netflix now, the DVD makers are mad because they get all the bonus features on the DVDs that the Netflix people send out. So now they're going to give them stripped down DVDs with just the movie on them. And that's what the people that order Netflix or rent from Netflix will get. Which really sucks for them because if they were renting for the bonus features or, you know, thought it's a freebie given in, they won't be getting those. So, I mean, already you got things down in this economy. Think about how things are just going to keep on going down for Netflix now. I thought they were going to be pretty good during this time, but I mean, that's going to hurt them. It has to hurt them. I, I can't imagine, you know, having the option with a DVD with features and one with not and not going with the one with features even if you had to buy it I mean if it had really good features like commentary from the director or the actors or deleted scenes I don't know I think I'd buy it so that sucks for them that's really it's really a shit move from DVD makers it's like why you gotta hate I think I mentioned this last week that I found these videos and uh, a VCR actually to play them off of and I've been playing them onto my video camera and taping them onto my DV tapes and last night I uploaded my first batch to this computer so uh, in these vlogs I'm going to use like at least one commercial or scene from a show and the ones, the episodes I tapped into what they had was this kid in 96 had taped a bunch of uh, the new adventures of Johnny Quest so I got Johnny Quest on there, but I also got all the great commercials and the segues Cartoon Network used to use, which I loved. They really made you want to watch the cartoon that was coming up next. So yeah, I'll include some of those and uh, we'll all have fun watching. Uh, I think I'm going to include a, a commercial for a Tyco video camera, which is really, really shitty. It's like, wow, that's shitty. So yeah, stay tuned because that's coming up next. This is my Tyco video cam. I said my Tyco video cam. Not my mother's, not my father's, mine. Everyone wants to be 
in my next Psycho Video Cam video. My friends, my dog, even my parents. That's a real video cam. For making real videos. It's real tough, as in durable, not difficult. Just plug it into the VCR, then point and shoot. It's so easy, grown-ups could use it. If I let them. The Tyco Video Cam. Batteries not included. Your VCR required to record. So yeah, as long as you're within cord reach of your VCR, you can tape black and white footage. Yeah! <laughs> it's really kind of crappy, isn't it? I mean, think about it. I mean, just... It's, I mean, maybe like if you were doing like grainy porno from your couch, that'd become useful. But yeah. It's, but I love all the hype the kid gives it and the commercial gives it. It's like, your own video camera, your own video camera. That's just what you needed, something of your own. You know, like, the, when your parents are holding you back with their video camera that you borrowed, it's like, you have no time limits with this. You don't have to rewind the tapes afterwards. It's all for you and you alone. Do what you want with it. In close proximity to the VCR. Because it really doesn't actually tape, it just streams what it looks like but uh, yeah that sucks that sucks but people bought it because it was marketed to them and it was cool back in the day I guess I guess it was pretty cool it was pretty simple that's good but yeah I love that I love that oh man I, that that's like gold to me gold I wanted to mention something. I, I watched American Idol. I just watched the singing part. I don't watch the results show because they really drag that shit out. I hate it. But I wanted to say, whoever the stylist is, or the outfit picker, or whatever you want to call her, for Little Rounds, please uh, stop making Little Rounds look like a hoochie. Uh, or you're a hoochie yourself, and you're reflecting your own hoochiness onto Little Rounds. First, she comes out in white pants. I'm sorry, but a girl with that a butt that big, you know, doesn't need white pants. Don't do that to her. She doesn't need it, all right? All right? And, and white pants look coochie on girls. I said it. There it is. You know, gasp if you want, but they do. Then, the next night, she comes in a cocktail red dress that's hiked up uh, past her knees. Why? Make her dress, dress her classy, people. Don't, don't do this to Little Rounds. Little Rounds deserves better than this. She's a mother, for crying out loud. Treat her with some dignity. It's like, what in the world are you thinking? Why? Th that's all. That's, I just had to say something, because it's really pissing me off. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. It's been a hard week. Uh, yesterday, I cut a bunch of fire with my brother, and this other guy uh, took, I think we got about two chords and a half cut which is pretty badass if you ask me or maybe even three chords and uh, sore, tired gonna take some rest then go to work and that'll be it for me for uh, today uh, I'm also I'm planning on things in the future I may do some, tape something tonight and upload it around Monday evening uh, we'll see how that goes I think, I'm thinking of maybe putting out less videos in a week because I think I over I overwhelm some people here on YouTube. So, you know, some of my subscribers just get lost in the shuffle. I'm like, I don't want to watch that. I just watched them do that. So maybe like a four per week limit. I don't know, kind of like a every other day thing. We'll see. So later.